All right, Tyler Terrence, along with none other than assistant coach of Chicago Fire FC, Frankie Klopas. And Frank, we have a very special treat for you. We are going to take a look at the very first match in Chicago Fire FC history in Chicago at Soldier Field in 1998 against none other than the now defunct Tampa Bay Mutiny in Major League Soccer. Frank, obviously, you know, you were a Chicago homegrown kid. You know, you moved to the United States at eight years old. What did it mean to you after playing for Columbus to come back to Chicago and play in the first ever game for a Chicago club in Major League Soccer? Yeah, I mean, obviously, look, I mean, I was, I felt really uh, an honor for me to have an opportunity to come back. And uh, I kind of looked at it as I'm probably going to be finishing my career where it started back in, uh, in, in Chicago. So it was a special night, you know, not having professional soccer for so many years. Tremendous build up leading into this game. We knew that it was going to be, there was a lot of excitement. There was going to be a tremendous atmosphere and a big crowd. And, uh, so obviously there was a lot of excitement leading up into that game and we couldn't wait to get started and uh, you know we didn't want to disappoint all the great fans that showed up. And a, and a little tidbit that you gave me before we jumped on to do this is that you were not exactly wearing your boots on this given day and you were wearing the boots of a guy who wasn't even in the 18 that'll shock most people. Do you want to you fill the good folks in no. on, on whose, whose boots you were wearing? No exactly and listen I've never you know really talked about this uh before because it just never crossed my mind everybody talked about the opening night and, and and obviously the performance and the goals and how special it was for me to come back but you know i haven't gone to the stadium so early you know just in, in anticipation of this game we were there in the in the locker room and we were playing soccer tennis i was playing soccer tennis with ante razo and uh i didn't like my shoes for some reason they didn't have a good feel that you know that day you know as I put them on and I was playing soccer tennis and Ante had a pair of shoes and he said Frank try these shoes on so I put them on and it's like they fit like a glove man so I said Ante can I wear the shoes for the match and then obviously he said no problem he gave me the shoes and I think he added a little bit of his magic touch that finishing touch that yes. uh, came in handy for me <laughs> It seemed like you guys, I mean, you know, it's an expansion team. It seemed like you guys already had some good synergy in the attacking third. I mean, only having played, you know, a game and a half at this point, more or less. But you guys look to be, you know, at least somewhat in sync for, for a team that really hadn't played all that much together. Yeah, no, no, you're absolutely right. But I think that's a lot of credit to Bob for selecting the kind of players that he did. And it all started with bringing, you know, first and, and foremost with, uh, with, uh, with Peter Novak because he was really the glue and the captain that made everything and the engine of this team, you know, and then there he is. obviously, yep. yeah, surrounded him with, with, you know, with a lot of talented players and some of the younger guys on the team. And you talked about it, Ante and Jesse, maybe, you know, uh, didn't even get in, into this game. You know, you had Chris Armis and, and uh, it, it, it really was a really, really uh, great team put together with some veteran players and, and, and obviously some, uh, some great younger players, you know. Great. Yeah. Yeah. That, was this, uh, would you say that this is by far, oh, here we go. That's not a bad save. Would, would you say that this is by far your most memorable night uh, as a member of the fire? Uh, I think for me, yeah, yeah, I would say for me, yes, because when I, you know, came back to the team, I knew that, you know, I, I would have played maybe a couple years and then that that's the end of my, would have been the end of my career. So to have had an opportunity to, uh, had ha having started my professional career here in Chicago in 1984 with the Sting, and then to have been back in '98 to 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 wear uh, the, the 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 fire colors and, and and play back in the city where it all started for me was something uh, really special. So and then to come that night with the turnout like that, close to 40,000 fans, and you know to get a win, and then you know to score, obviously the the two goals, you know you always. As a player, want to score, but the most important things, scoring goals that help your team win. It's it's it was like a night and a and a moment that I will never forget. And obviously for for our team, it was like it was like a magical magical season for us. We won the double. No yeah. no team has, has has done that, and I think it'll be very difficult for any team to do it now. And it's probably going to go down in the history. And I think it's for me when you look at the players and what Bob accomplished in bringing his players together, him and Peter Wild. It's Probably one of the best teams ever in, in league history. Novak sends it all the way across to Ibsen. Zach bears down on Kinnear. 
Works his way around them. Into the box. Klopp steps around one. Shot goes. Oh, there we go. Oh, twinkle toes. You see those quick feet? No, quick little feet. But touch. Zach, you know, oh. I got in a good spot off the back shoulder of the defender. The ball came. I got a little Woo. bit lucky on that first touch. And then it was... It was Ante's special shoes, man, you know? <laughs> I made sure that I had good technique, I locked my ankle, and then uh, I think Ante's shoes did the rest for that. For I'm, that I'm, surprised you, I'm surprised you emerged uninjured from that dog pile. You were, you were nowhere to be seen at the bottom of that Chicago Fire dog pile. No, but you know when you score a goal like that, it's like such oh, that course, feeling for, yeah. you know, 20, 30 seconds that, you know, that you have that, it's like you're saying i wish there was i could i could bottle that up and you know and get it back but it's hard to get that feeling back you know and then that's what you know i kind of felt that because it was great to get the first goal and then obviously you know doing it in front of our great fans there and then you know to, to celebrate with your teammates there and uh you know it's a good feeling we wanted at halftime you know with, with the lead and you know i think we came out and uh, uh as the game went on and controlled the game and put it away was there a point in this point in this game where you were ever sort of like they might be able to find the equalizer? Or was it a, was it a game that you sort of uh, were dominate dominators on the night? No, we felt good. You know, I mean, we felt good. We felt in 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 really control of the game. I think both listen. Both teams had had some chances for sure, uh, but I think it was uh, even though it was still one zero up to this point, we felt pretty comfortable. But it's always good to get that second goal. You know, and and uh, I think everybody was a little bit you know, hence, but yeah. uh, we kind of felt that, you know, good on the field that we had things under control, but obviously it was always better. Once we got that second goal, we could relax a little bit and, and take everything in, you know, and celebrate a little bit with the fans. Um, look at Kosa, look at Kosa. That Kosa. is just silky. Well, listen. So all, all you had to do was run up and just, and just put in the bottom corner. Uh, he, did all, he did all the dirty work. <laughs> Kosa did all the dirty work, and that's what I'm telling you. When he gets, you know, he isolates the player, and that was Frank Gallup there on the side, and he, you know, he really had, I don't think anyone would have a chance against uh, Koseki with his pace. He just seems to blow the defender down and accelerate, and you know, great vision for him to cut the ball back. And for me, it was just like, just get it on frame, get it on target, and uh, I did that. And I, I, I'm telling you, it was on the shoes, man. They did, they did yep. that. <laughs> they did the work. I just had to focus and get, uh, Good contact and good technique on that. He got his set up and nice, left, easy. Left footed as well. Left footed as well. One with the right foot, one with the left. This oh, was yeah, impressive. Exactly. Going over the, jumping over the boards. You know, for me, I don't know how I did that. My knees hurt every can you, time can I you see do that. that can you do that today or no? I don't know. I don't know, Tyler. I think it'll no. be difficult, man. Yeah, and going back, Tyler. I think that was a credit because we we had uh, some special individuals as players, but the the the, the best thing we had, we were. We were a team, and we were a very. Uh, it was a, it was a united group, and I think that's why we had the success we did that season. And that's credit to, you know, to Bob and the coaching staff at that time, because that's Bob would preach all the time, the group and how you know about the group, the, the circle that we're in, and the players that were there every day, and uh, the hard work that we put forth every day to accomplish something, and. Uh, he stressed that every day and you know for me this was the special thing right here in the end to be able to celebrate with with the staff and with everyone together with our fans yeah absolutely just it looks like it was it was overwhelming at that point it's just nothing but smiles and big hugs it's unbelievable no it was really special it was really special and uh like i said for me and you could just see there what uh Bob meant to me, uh, you know, my last two two seasons that I've been, I was able to play, finish my career here with Chicago, but to be able to have that start and come back and have soccer back in in the city and uh, to have uh, our opening game back at Soldier Field. Uh, look, those are games and moments that I will never forget that are really, really special that I feel really blessed, man, to uh, have been able to finish my career where it started here in Chicago and and uh to have a special night like that all right well frank that's that's all the game tape that we got but just wanted to say thank you for for sitting down and, and jumping in the chicago fire delorean and going back in time and and enjoying that fateful night in uh at soldier field and hopefully we'll uh we'll be back there soon enough and many more wins to come just like that one but have an awesome day and uh and thanks for helping us out thanks tyler take care